On July 9, 2012, the ICC pronounced that four prominent Kenyans, including presidential hopefuls Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto, would be tried for allegedly masterminding the 2007-2008 violence. Their trials for crimes against humanity are set for April 2013, a month after Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto intend to stand in a presidential election, a scenario United Nations human rights experts have termed as tolerating the climate of impunity. Gerald Newman, a United Nations Human Rights Committee member, now says Kenya needs to accelerate and pursue as a matter of urgency all post-election violence cases to ensure that the perpetrators are brought to justice and the victims accorded compensation. The human rights expert also expressed concern for the perpetrators who were below the ICC radar. In a report last December, Human Rights Watch accused the Kenya's political elite and police of stalling investigations, a case the United Nations Committee agrees with and noted the slow pace of investigations and prosecutions into allegations of torture, extrajudicial killings by the police and vigilante groups. The chief legal officer. However, on July 17, a delegation from Kenya that included Justice Minister Eugene Wamalwa presented the third periodic report of Kenya on human rights in Geneva on the implementation of the provisions of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. In the report, Kenya affirmed that a task force was in place to review cases of post-election violence where evidence had been produced and perpetrators had been held accountable and also that Kenya continues to cooperate with the ICC in as far as trying the suspects was concerned. But by allowing some of the suspects vie for political positions could be proving right the claims by the United Nations Human Rights Committee. Joy Doreen Bira, KTN Prime.